So going back to this idea of, um, you know, after we figure out what type of load are we going to do, and of course we go, we just went through that list of, of tension and compression and uh, torsion and shear and flexure, um, now we're back to this idea of how fast do we put it on, what, what's the rate of the load, and some more vocabulary words. Um, three primary different types of, um, of rates of load. A static test, a long time test, and a dynamic test. Um, a static test is is actually sort of a sort of a misnomer. Um, in my mind, static means no movement at all; things haven't changed. But in this case, what it means is very very slow movement. So this is um, the static test is what we just saw with the airplane wing at Boeing. They were slowly um, applying the the force to this wing, and then eventually it exploded. Um, so it wasn't static, as in it just stayed there for a very long time. Uh, it just means that it was applied slowly. That's a static test. Uh, the the long time test w would be as if they took that wing. Note it, remember it exploded at 154. If they would have um, um, you know pulled it up and stressed it at 100 percent and then just left it there and then came back to see how long it is. That's a different type of test. If anybody um, has, has ever done any weightlifting where they go ahead and say, you know, what's your strongest amount of, uh, what, what's the strongest amount of, amount of uh, pounds you can lift, you know, go ahead and lift so many pounds in one time. Um, long time test, even just sticking your arms out to your side, uh, even carrying no, no dumbbells or weights and just holding them there for minutes or or tens of minutes or half an hour, um, it starts to get, um, you start to get stressed here pretty soon. So we can long time test uh, items. Um, what comes to mind is a bookshelf. Bookshelves are notoriously, um, you know, contain a whole bunch of books and they contain those books for quite a long time. And over time, depending on the material, it can slowly sag. You can get a sort of a bow in the, um, in the, in the, uh, the the shelf that you happen to have your books setting on that would be a long time test and then we have um, the opposite of the static test and the long time test and that's the dynamic test that's when we're going to go ahead and have a, a crash test and apply it pretty quickly so static long time dynamic uh, the ones that we're going to be doing in lab at least initially are probably um, probably static tests we're going to apply these things uh, apply the force slowly until the the material uh, can't handle anymore Number of cycles, again, it's a cycle test. We're going to repeat it. A uh, single load test is uh, one time until it breaks. That wing was definitely a single load test. And an endurance or a fatigue test, um, that's going to be, um, I think it's a G rather than a Q. Um, that's when um, we're going to go ahead and, and, like I mentioned with the pencil box, we're going to open and close this hinge. We're going to flex this comb. Um, we're going to open and close this notebook uh, for hundreds of times, perhaps, until it breaks.